a lot of our women like you, not you, but like you, they put the value on money. So women are married to the money and they cheat on their money with the man that they marry. Mm, and it's honestly. all out of balance. Um, Sir Hell, do you have any like uh, last minute thoughts for any of them? Uh, yeah, so I'll just go around real quick. So you, look, don't try to get in no relationships right now. No, uh, everything hell you, no. Every, no, no, seriously. And it's not because you don't deserve one. Is you've been through so much and you you trying to search for love everywhere. Like everything that I heard you talk about, you talked about pain and then what that pain has made you see yourself as. Like anytime you get to the place where you don't think you, you're worth love or, you know, you, people who who should have been there weren't there. Father wasn't there like he should have been. The person you love wasn't there like he should have been. That's a pattern of brokenness. And what that does to you is, is it makes you see yourself in a certain way. So because you were not loved, you think you don't deserve that love. And then you internalize that. And then everything you attract in your life gives you more of what you how you carry in yourself. So I want you to take some time. And I, I, like, I want you to feel me in your heart on this one. Like me. Go back and re watch this replay. Go back and heal because even though you've been through some crappy stuff and you probably made a lot of dumb decisions, you are not beyond love. And you as a young girl who needed the love of a father didn't get it, you should have got love then. When you were engaged, you should have got love then. And every time you got broken, you had to go find a way to not care so it doesn't hurt as bad. So go back and get that fixed because you, you do deserve that love. And this might mean you got to bring up some things that you would rather forget about and not deal with. And it's painful, but please don't ever say that you're not, you can't be loved or you're over because no, you're not. No human is. That's so and true. that's a, that's a response from trauma. Like you happen to be strong from all this, all the scars you have. So please hear me from your heart. Like go, go take care of that. And is you will see life differently when you, when you're healed. Okay. Can we grow now? Yeah. I'm telling you, and, yeah, and I, and that's something I agree with him so hard. Yeah. I think every girl deserves love. Like, 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 like every girl fucking deserves it, you know, at the end of the day. I like that. Yeah. But so with you as well, is your sweet self. So the guy you're talking about, that guy is, so whenever a guy is throwing up these, these other dudes who you're talking about, that, not to disagree with my guy, but slightly yeah. disagree. Yeah, that's fine. He's not a beta simp. He's just young. Mm -hmm. And when a guy has a, is with a girl who's, who's cute and she gets attention, him bringing up other dudes is his way of asking you to reassure him mm -hmm. that you're not entertaining all the attention that you're getting. So that's that's a part on his part that he has to work on because he can't get that from he has to have some confidence with himself. Mm -hmm. He has to be the kind of guy that could walk away from you and go get somebody else exactly. and you'll respect him. But understand that that's what it is. And you give him if you care about this person, give him some reassurance because the way life happens it's in your 20s, you're getting the attention. Mm -hmm. If he keeps on leveling up, the attention you're getting at 26, he's going to get at 36. Oh, he's already leveled up, too. That's <laughs> what I be trying to tell him. But, that, but that's, that's the point that I'm saying. So that in this mm -hmm. opportunity in relationships, <laughs> sometimes you got to give each other that reassurance mm -hmm. until you know that this thing is for sure. So that's then my again, thing. again, he got to believe it for himself. Yeah. Like, exactly. I, I can't yeah. keep telling you the same thing over and exactly. over. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's why I said. And it showing you, too. Like, it's not like I'm not I'm – not, because I very much – you know, notice like I, I pay attention to like your love languages and stuff like that. So, we've I, I'm, I try to understand the person from the other side. I want to see how you receive love because I realize I might be this type of person. Mm -hmm. I'm an acts of I'm an acts of service type of person. I I do for you. That is how I show you I love you. But with him, it's not the same thing. Nice. You know, and there was a time that we had that disconnect, and we took those steps to understand each other's love language because. I understand I maybe have not been seeing what it takes for you to see me. Maybe I'm not showing you love in the right way. Maybe I'm not showing you how you want what I'm maybe I'm not doing what you need to see, you know, in order for you to receive it. And I get that. But when we have those conversations and then you still turn around and go against that, that is where I start having a problem. And then that's where I start realizing. So two things. Not, two things. So me. how old is he? <clears throat> he is young. He's twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah. And then ours, we're not. So yeah. So so, so let me say this, two things. So if you care about him, y'all y'all don't know nothing. You're 26 to 27. You don't know nothing. So Literally. so so just hear me out. So grow with each other, right? That's the first thing. And then it's not about what y'all talk about. So I'm gonna give you an example. So let's say yeah. I tell my wife I love every day. I love you, girl. You my you my you're the best thing ever. And then I'm out and I'm kind of flirty with other women, or I'm not doing nothing with. Women. I'm kind of flirty. Well, it takes what I talked about and makes me look like some like. Like, so I'm saying you could talk all you want to, but if you're conducting yourself and you're flirty and I can tell you are, 
because you're social and you're social butterfly. Social and flirty is just, just, just lay, lay, My friends tell me I'm flirty just, yeah, and you wouldn't even know. Hold on, <laughs> hold on just, just like, yeah, trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. Same. So, and it's not that you you know what attention you're getting and you know if you're going to entertain it or not. And so you can play semantics, but we know what you are. <laughs> you're social butterfly <laughs> and you flirt and you like the attention. So with that, you're going to have to scale that back. Just because you can get attention doesn't mean it's good attention. And if you want to mm. cement something sure, you got to do what it takes to protect that. Mm. That's all I'm saying to you. Mm. The other thing I'll say as well, and this is coming from a big brother, cover it up sometimes. Big brother. Like you, you got, you, like you're a cute girl, but you, a man wants to know that this is my girl. So there are certain things I tell women all the time. You need to have an apron in your home. You need to have some lingerie. They got to be some things specifically for your apron. man. Like, I don't want to like like I don't want like I don't want to see you in certain areas like in certain ways because that should be reserved for your man. It's the same thing with my wife. As attractive as she is, love that girl. There's there's a certain side of her that should be just reserved for me. So if you're flirty and you're giving other man sexual attention and they know they're not gonna get it, but it's fun, you got to scale that back because that's going to breed insecurity. And then as you get older, that attention is going to go away and it's going to make you insecure because you're going to see those other women. Doing the same thing to your man. What if I'm not with anybody? Yeah, I'm telling you, for, be, by yourself, learn it, right? By yourself, learn that. Okay. Like I said, you're a sweet girl, but a, but a lot of our young girls haven't been parented correctly, no. and a lot of and a lot of your mothers didn't do it right, and so they just let y'all free fall and go figure it out yourselves. And a lot of y'all are screwing your lives up. So take it from a guy who cares about you. Like you got to take this advice, scale it back some, because y'all a lot of y'all are wasting your youth, your beauty, and your time mm-hmm. being reckless out here. Yeah, not good advice, bro. Yep. Yep. And so for you, I think you are absolutely incredibly dope. Really? Yeah. So I would hope that if you want to be married, like don't put off and be like, I'm a business woman, I'm a career woman, because you're gonna be successful. You you got the you got the mind for it. But you gotta be careful about around being around women who tell you that. You got to go chase the bag, go get it. And then, you know, then what you got to pick up the dude you want. It's a good balance to it. So here's what I'm saying. A lot of our women like you, not you, but like you, they put the value on money. So women are married to the money and they cheat on their money with the man that they marry. Mm. And it's all out of balance. Mm. So having that proper perspective, that money is a tool that when you get married and have children, it's a tool to establish yourself. And it's not about you bringing a bad bread or he bringing a bread. No, y'all both are bringing bricks to build the kind of house Together. for the life that you guys want. Yeah. So be in the mindset of building a man that wants to help build you. Mm-hmm. And when you guys put the bricks on each other, what you guys are doing is that you're investing in each other's future. So like I said, you, you got, you got the skills, but just make sure you don't run it. You don't let success be the thing you marry. And then you're cheating on your success with the man you marry. Mm. If you want, if you want marriage. Yeah. And that's it. Very true. Yeah. That, that's why. That's, so, so sometimes when women chase the bag, they end up accidentally becoming the man that they're looking for. And once you, and because of hypergamy, sometimes it, it reduces the amount of guys that you're able to want to go get or that you're going to want. Um, let me go do that last super chat really quick from Dr. Matt. Uh, $5 from Dr. Matt. Uh, ladies, do you believe in astrology and that it can affect someone's personality? Great one, bro. I'll start with you really quick. Uh, just really quick. Uh, astrology and do you think it affects somebody's personality? All right. I don't believe in astrology and the whole, oh, what's your sun rising? What's your sign? And all the, <laughs> I believe in signs. I do definitely believe in that. Because there is like, you know, we are made of water, the ocean, moon, all that bullshit. Like, so, so like, so like you do believe it or you don't? I'm confused. Somewhat. Somewhat? Like, Do you think it not, determines your personality? No. Okay. I don't. What, 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 what do you think? Do you? Yes, I do. You believe it does determine your personality and you like astrology? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Uh, what about you? A little bit? Not really. Not really? Um, uh, So, like, uh, what's your sign really quick? I'm an Aries. Aries, what are you? I like Leo. I'm a Leo. You're a Leo? Where are you? I'm a Capricorn. Well, since you're so good at it, can you guess what I am? Since since you can tell, like, personalities. Sagittarius. I didn't say that I can tell. But, but like, but, I mean, you got to be able to, come on. What's my energy? Scorpio. (laughs) Scorpio female. (laughs) Not, like, saying that you're acting. I'm saying, like... But I would associate. I don't know, like very Definitely much. Not a Virgo. Scorpio man. I would say, like, I don't know. You give me like Taurus. 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 Like, what, what, what do you think? I said Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Or Leo. August Leo. Or or Leo. 
Like, like, is there? You have any confidence behind any of those, or not really? No, none. I'm just bullshit because yeah. I don't get. Yeah, usually, usually, yeah, y'all, y'all are. Uh, well, I mean, you're right. I'm a Sagittarius, so you got it. Oh wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you November? Huh? Fuck yes. November is just. Uh, I, I, can you believe that? You're like so good. Like, how'd you know that? And this bitch That's doesn't right. even read no, crystals. No, 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 no. But for real, like, how'd you know that? I just guess it based off like how you've been holding. You know, I know something crazy though. What? I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, my dad's an Aquarius. Yeah, I just had to troll you on it. My bad. Uh, go, so go to the two dollars. Like, see, I don't believe in all those <laughs> two dollars from Mr. Worldwide. Thank you, bro. Let the twins breathe. No, don't let them breathe. Fucking hold them in, please. <laughs> Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just wanna mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.